fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Pantera! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big shots being landed on both sides here. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. This. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? 
Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Back to his feet. Big call from Crunch Land. Now he gets back in range. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, big head kick lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he is on point tonight. Nice combination. And that one was heavy. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. And they separate. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. What a body kick. Oh, big punch land. Checks that leg kick. Big kick lands. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Ooh, head kick lands. He hurt. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Able to check the high kick. Great punch landed with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow along the guard. 20 seconds to go. And he lands the knee to the body now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now. He's Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now a knee. And now he lands. 
kinds of combinations. Oh! Nice head kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the swing. Back and forth we go here. Striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses there with the left. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Nice straight punch. Keep your hands up. Real sneaky body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clip. Big elbow there, Lance. Ooh, big knee. He heard him. Oh! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh. Oh! starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Throwing hard in the pocket. Oh, big left! Wow! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! into that kick. Knee to the body. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, oh, oh look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bar. Gets up again here, but Hurton, what a punch. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over! Goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.